In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to use the Kakarasu generator. So once you've downloaded the zip file from Gumroad, it will look a little bit like this here. And then what we want to do is just double click on Kakarasu puzzle. And if we span this here, our first option is for the size of our grid. So you can go anywhere up to 10, obviously the larger tends to be a little more difficult as well, but we can also set the difficulty um, level later on. So let's go by five by five. Here you can choose the difficulty uh, level, which is set by the um, methods required to solve each puzzle. So they range from obviously easy, medium and hard. Our next option is our solver mode. Now zero is a little bit quicker. Um, but it can miss some difficult puzzles. And if we choose one, that is a slightly slower algorithm, but it can create more difficult puzzles. If you're on um, just creating easy puzzles, I really wouldn't worry about switching to one and just stay on zero. It's only really key if you're making more difficult puzzles. Our next option here is to choose how many puzzles we want to create. So let's just do uh, 100 and then we click generate puzzles. And as we can scroll down, we can see all of our different puzzles here. And then what we can do is we can make live changes to the styling. For example, we can make the grid thicker. We can choose a different color for the grid. We use different color for the squares. And we can choose a different color for our X's as well, like so. We can also choose a font, like so. And then we can also change our font size. So at the moment, and by default, it's set automatically. But you can just type in any font size you want here like so, and it will automatically update like that. Our next option on our grid options is simply if you want a transparent background, you can toggle that on and off like so. And then finally, we have our export options. So you can export as a PNG, um, which you might wanna do if you're having a transparent background, a JPEG or an SVG, uh, so a vector file. And our next option is, what do you want to export? So, at the moment it's on solutions. We go to puzzle. And then we export, it will export the puzzle. And if we go solution and export, it will support the um, export the solutions. Now what we can do here is add a title um, to go above each puzzle. Um, so, and solution, so it'll be puzzle one, two, three, four, and so on, and solution, one, two, three, four, and so on. We can also select the size of our image. Now this is only really key if we're going to be exporting in a raster format, so JPEG or PNG. SVG will obviously scale because it's vector, so we can change our sizing like so. And then lastly, we um, can choose where we want to export our puzzles to. So I'll just quickly export these. So we'll do our puzzles first, export all. And then we'll just, oh, I'll do that again. I need the right title, uh, puzzle. And then solution. Change the solution here, export again. Okay, and then if we go into the folder we exported to, so puzzles, we can see our puzzles here. See, puzzle one. And then obviously if we go all the way through to 100, and then our solutions again, one, 
all the way through to 100. Now, I hope this quick introduction video helps you get started making your own Kakarusu puzzles. Thank you for watching.